Hey everyone, it is Alex McCarthy. I said I'd be doing more videos, so here we go. Let's talk 2019's best and worst. So um, let's start with the fun one, best. Um, believe it or not, the best marketing tactic and strategy, in my opinion, in 2019, hands down, possibly ever, was the Tesla rollout of their new pickup truck. And uh, for a lot of you, you're probably kind of surprised because they had that little snafu with the broken window on stage. Um, but that's exactly the brilliance of it. If you think that they didn't test that window a hundred, a thousand times before they went up on stage in front of the whole world uh, with a live preview to um, test that, you're, you're poorly mistaken. That was done on purpose. They got millions and millions of dollars of free advertising by having that window break on stage. They had a bunch of people talking about it. Um, and then on top of that, um, they knew, since they have a very loyal, they've uh, curated a very loyal fan base, they knew instantly that it would have the Tesla fanboys and fangirls out there digging their heels in to defend Tesla, the quality of products, and um, two, in my opinion, I think that's why um, it's as ugly as it is. Um, that's done on purpose as well. Um, that is not a truck for the mass market. It's for Tesla fans. It was done for the loyal Tesla um, audience. And all it did is just reinforce to them um, their brand loyalty. They kind of... Um, Again, dug their heels in, defended it, and the broken window just gave them millions and millions of dollars of advertising and promotion for a product, brand new product, they didn't have to pay a dollar for. So um, trust me when I tell you that was not a mistake. That was just very brilliant planning. And you can kind of tell based on Elon Musk's reaction. Um, he's you know a super genius, super nerd, not an actor. He didn't do that good of a job kind of playing it off, um, but it still fooled a lot of people, which was its whole purpose. So that was the best marketing um, tactic and strategy I saw in 2019. The worst, let's just talk about the Gillette ad. For those that haven't seen it, you can probably just Google Gillette ad and it'll come up. Essentially, a brand and company that markets to and sells products for men, shaving products, decided it would be um, a smart idea to get woke and talk about uh, you know, toxic masculinity and basically have men uh, on this commercial doing everyday things that men do and kind of made them look, like, for lack of a better term, like a bunch of douchebags. Um, and it was so detrimental. Their sales, their numbers are just still in free fall. It's been almost a year now. Um, and their head of marketing, who was you know, a um, woman social justice warrior, probably not the best person to hire for a men's product in the first place, you know, no surprisingly, got canned because of how horrible it turned out. In fact, there's a bunch of companies that um, were really smart with their marketing and decided to um, kind of do a answer or response to the, the Gillette men's, toxi men's masculine toxicity um, ad. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I do think that um, you want to be edgy in some cases, you want to spark conversation. Um, sometimes it's okay uh, to upset people, but to upset basically 90% of your target market is never a smart thing to do. Um, going into 2020, I think we could kind of take some lessons from both, but the biggest being, I see a trend from what's happened the last like five years, which was, you know, a lot of um, companies and brands taking that moral high ground, trying to um, educate the public and tell us how we should act and what's right and what's wrong. I think people are getting tired of that. Um, 
that was a um, that happened because the millennials, my generation, started becoming the decision makers. Um, but now we've got Gen Xers that are in the market as well, and they're uh, kind of swinging the opposite way. They're tired of the political correctness. They just want auth authenticity. They want transparency and to be real. And I think most people are waking up to the fact that um, a lot of these brands tout one thing, whether it's you know, uh, you know, environmentally friendly, but then their products are dumping you know countless chemicals and and uh, plastics into the ocean. So we just know it's all BS at this point. So I think going into 2020, uh, just being authentic, being transparent, not trying to be too flashy, trying to build you or your company or brand up to something that you're not. Um, and certainly don't pontificate, don't stand on some stage telling people what's morally right or what's morally wrong. Let people make those decisions you just focus on your brand, your product, or service, and uh, the rest will take care of itself. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Peace. Have a good day today and a better day tomorrow.